Time for this week's CEO's blog and John Dunsey is here with me. And John, um, the awards night is fast approaching. It's just a little over a fortnight away. Yes, two weeks, uh, Amanda, and it, it's, it, it will be a great night. Um, again, I um, suggest to all participants to, to s- secure your ticket, come along, um, see who, who the winners are. Some of them, of course, we know through premierships, but others, uh, uh, there, there are uh, not surprises. There's some very just awards um, to be given to people who are uh, uh, fantastic in this sport, like everybody. But there are some people there that um, may well be surprised on the night, but they'll be just really rewarded for their efforts. Yeah, well, the, the awards night is on October 29, and uh, you can call Kate Dunsey if you would like uh, any more information on that. Talking about prizes, John, uh, the Castle Hill Show was on uh, the weekend and there were a few retired standard breads there. Uh, there were, uh, and it's, it's very good that this, this section in these horse shows is becoming more popular, or at least there's more horses attending. Uh, it was great to see that uh, um, the horses that were there, and, and there were a good number, were competitive. They were turned out in outstanding uh, order and um, the judge, I spoke to the judge on the day, who is not a harness racing person, is, is just a horse judge, um, complimented on how good these horses were. So, um, yeah, for all those who attended and, and they included um, Lauren Pinella and uh, Kirsten, they were there. Um, Alex Lancaster was there, um, but uh, Kate was there. Kate Dummacy, of course, was there. Brooke, Brooke Wilkins was there. Um, there. There were quite a, a, a few people, other people there that um, showed those horses, um, but but uh, you know m- most importantly, um, our ringmaster was there, and now he was running around, throwing his hands about, organising the the riders of these horses and and the showing and making sure they had ticket standard, and that was Reed Sanders. Um, Fantastic job. I, I'm, I'm not sure what he can't do. Yeah, well, on that note, John, um, it, it has been a big week and, and we uh, did see the announcement of Reed's uh, resignation from Harness Racing New South Wales. Yes, we announced that uh, uh, on Monday. Um, that horse show was on Sunday, so we got everything we could out of him there. But now, yes, Reed will move on and um, Harness Racing New South Wales, of course, um, uh, thank him, the, the board and, and myself, and um, I know Sam Nat. And, and many of the participants will thank him for for his efforts since 2011. He'll move on now to to other other p- pursuits, and uh, we wish him all the best. Um, but uh, he hasn't gone yet. He he'll be here until mid December. There's a couple of inquiries that he has to um, conclude or, or at least uh, move along. So um, yeah, Reid, um, uh, we'll say more about him at a later time. Yeah, okay, no worries. Well, um, look, yesterday was a really important day for sport in New South Wales uh, when the state government overturned its decision on the Greyhound racing ban. Yes, well, um, I, I, well, the Greyhounds fought a, a, a strong battle. Uh, they certainly uh, rallied uh, the community and, and others, the media, to to have that o- a ban overturned. So, um, uh, you know, we we just we look after harness racing. We know we've got a great code of racing. We work with the thoroughbreds, um, and and we'll go forward. Um, and and good luck to the Greyhounds. So, how does this affect harness racing in New South Wales? Well, it, well effectively, it doesn't. It doesn't affect harness racing. Uh, we will, we will, as I say, um, look after our own sport. We have really strong integrity um, play in place. Um, we've had it in place for a considerable time. We have fantastic equine welfare um, procedures in place. So um, how does it affect us? Well, not at all. We, we just go on and it's good to see that those really good people in the greyhound industry have that one more chance to, to prove that, that they can come up to the standards that we do have in harness racing. Yeah, no, you're right. All right, well, thanks for that, John, and uh, we'll catch up again uh, next week uh, for another edition of the CEO's blog. Thank you, Amanda.